ticks of Illinois. What are ticks? Ticks are invertebrate animals. They are classified in the phylum Arthropoda. Arthropods have jointed legs, an exoskeleton, and a segmented body. Other arthropods include scorpions, spiders, daddy long legs, insects, and mites. Mites and ticks are further separated into their own, smaller classification group, the order Acari, which means they are closely related. Twenty species of ticks live in Illinois. What do ticks look like? Ticks have two body sections, the nathosoma and the idiosoma. The nathosoma contains the mouth parts. The idiosoma has the legs, digestive tract, and reproductive organs. The adult tick has eight legs. Its body is flattened so that its backside is not far from its belly side. Ticks do not have antennae. There are two groups of ticks, soft-bodied and hard-bodied ticks. In Illinois, you are more likely to see hard-bodied ticks. There are five types of hard-bodied ticks that are often seen by people. The American dog tick or wood tick. This species is the most common tick in Illinois. Black-legged or deer tick. The black-legged tick has been found in many Illinois counties, but in recent years that has become common in only a specific area, mainly in northern Illinois. Lone star tick. Although found statewide, this species is more common in the southern one half of the state. Brown dog tick. The brown dog tick is a tropical species that cannot survive outdoors in Illinois' winters. It feeds on dogs and can carry out its life cycle indoors. Winter tick. The winter tick is often seen in large numbers on white-tailed deer. It also feeds on other large mammals like cows and horses. How big are ticks? In Illinois, most adult ticks that are not recently fed are about one-eighth inch long. After feeding, the idiosoma of some female ticks may enlarge to about one-half inch long. Where do they live? Ticks prefer shady areas with many plants. They are capable of being active all year, but the temperature must be at least 45 degrees Fahrenheit for ticks to move about. How do they reproduce? The life cycle of a hard-bodied tick can take up to three years. There are four stages, egg, larva, nymph, and adult. The adult female feeds on the blood of her host and then lays eggs. The eggs hatch to the larval form of the tick. After feeding, the larval form transforms to the nymph stage. The nymph feeds, then molts to the adult form. What do they eat? Ticks are external parasites of mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. They attach to the outside of the host animal and feed on its blood. A hard-bodied tick needs three blood meals to complete its life cycle. Ticks find their host by waiting at the tip of grasses or shrubs. When an animal passes by and touches the plant, the tick quickly crawls onto the animal. Does anything eat them? Some mites, roundworms, and birds eat ticks. What else should I know about them? Because they feed slowly, eat blood, and must feed several times in their life cycle, ticks can transfer some diseases. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, Tularemia, and Lyme disease are among the diseases that ticks can transmit. Most ticks are not infected, but those in some areas are more likely to be infected than others. Local health departments and the Illinois Department of Public Health can provide information about ticks and the diseases they can carry. If you should experience a rash that looks like a bullseye, a rash anywhere on your body or an unexplained illness with a fever after being bitten by a tick, you should visit your doctor. Diseases carried by ticks are treatable, but the treatment should begin quickly. Remember these tips if you are going to be in an area where ticks are present. Wear long sleeve shirts, long pants, boots, and head covering. Apply insect repellent that has 10% to 30% DEET to your clothes, following the instructions on the label. Walk in the center of trail so that plants don't brush against you. Check yourself, 
other family members and your pets every two to three hours for ticks.